Father, in the name that is above every other name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want to come before you. I want to come even before your people and asking you that mercy shall reign upon them. I am asking you, Lord Jesus, that the assignment of today, you are going to follow it up. You have spoken to me many times, and this is the right time. That daughter, I want you to deal with the crisis or the plague of cancer in the nation of Kenya. And just as the, the COVID-19 disappeared and died, that is the same way you are going to kill our COVID-19. Father, I am asking you that you are going to show us mercy, that you are going to use me today that you are going to deploy your angels and that Holy Spirit of God, you will show mercy even to the patients. And just as today we don't hear about COVID-19, it's the same way that we shall not hear about cancer. What an assignment and what an assignment you have given to us as intercessors in the nation of Kenya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Today there is an assignment for the intercessors in the nation of Kenya. And this assignment is not a simple assignment. It is an assignment that I've dealt with in the secret place. And I've been assured that I should bring it on air. I want us to know that every time God gives me an assignment... I am not just taking it up and uh, I am bringing it because I've been instructed. There are few things and there are few sicknesses that have been a, a plague globally and the Lord wants us to deal with it according to his timing and his season. We all remember that time that COVID-19 came. It was quite a hectic time. Visit the YouTube, my prophecies that I gave. The first prophecy to give was about COVID-19. Amen. And the Lord said that I deal with it and I dealt with it spiritually. I'll not say how I dealt with it. It was quite a big battle that I dealt with it for almost six months. And later on, I gave a prophecy and I said that COVID-19 within a short time, within between that time, uh, I think it was 2020, within a few months, one year, it will be done. And we shall not even know how it, sh it shall go. And there will be proper treatment for it. And truth be told, it just went. We don't know how it went, even if it killed so many people. That is now what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And he said, deal with cancer. It is a plague. Amen. I'm going to read a few things here that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me and assured me that the same way we destroyed as intercessors COVID-19, I know others have dealt with it, even this cancer that we are dealing with today, others are dealing with it because it is a plague. I was told the same way we Kenyans dealt with COVID-19 and it is no more. That is the same way we are going to deal with this beast. Amen. Cancer. And he said many of us will doubt, but as time goes by, just you will not know how it will go, but it is a plague. And I was told where I, whatever happens, and these are secrets that God has revealed to me. We are not only going to deal with this. There are diseases I'm going to bring here as I am led by the Holy Spirit. Some of you will say, are you not afraid that this thing will come to you? Mm -mm, I'm not afraid because he assured me and he said, your work is to deliver the mountain of health, the mountain of health, deliver the mountain of health from the beast. Amen. We have spoken about cancer. We have spoken about accidents, students, universities, 
we dealt with it. God showed that mercy. We dealt, I spoke about plane crashes and ship. It happened, but it is not going to happen again. Sometimes it happens so that we can know that God is talking and my condolences to that. And uh, we are going to deal with this one. Do you have my number? Are you saying, woman of God, you have been a blessing? And there are women in the village that are suffering from cervical cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer. There are men that have prostate cancer, you know, blood cancer, whatever, tumors that are incurable, but God is going to cure. And this message, I would want them to get it so that they can find help and that they can know that it is a plague and God is able to do it. Amen. I want you to send me your 1,000 shillings. And please, I'm not praying against cancer because I want money. Mark my word. No, no time will tell. Amen. I want you to support me with 1,000. I want you to support me with 500 shillings. And this is my pay bill number 400222. My account number, it is 1739983 hash. Send your transaction to the number on the screen. And that is 0746553997. Amen. Check it on the screen. Glory be to God. Now, this is quite a difficult topic. Not even a topic. It is an assignment. And uh, there are sicknesses that are demonic that are being manufactured in special nations and different kingdoms, the marine kingdom, in the marine kingdom, in the heavenlies, and on the earth. And I will not talk how cancer comes. I will not talk how HIV comes, Ebola comes. Those are things the Lord has revealed to me. And every one of that disease, the Lord will help me to deal with it. He said, daughter, I've given you the key to deliver mankind from the beast. Amen. These battles, I told you, it is not us fighting. It is our Lord Jesus Christ who is fighting and his team. Our work, it is just to obey. Our work is just to obey and we are just vessels. The rest we leave it to God and... All glory goes back to Jesus. Now, there are things I was told to mention here in the scriptures by our Lord Jesus Christ. The first one, he said, deal in or deal with the beasts. And he said, cancer, deal with the beast, cancer, in the mountain of, the, of, of, of health, the mountain of health. Amen. Now, these are things he spoke to me, and I would want you to write them down or to keep on or to download so that you can be listening and send it to somebody that is suffering from that, and the hand of God will find them. He said, Damaris, deal with cancer. It is in the mountain of deliverance. When you deal with cancer, you are dealing with the mountain of deliverance. This is what he said. He said, introduction in your intercession, tell them, cancer is a beast. Cancer is a killer. The Lord helped me to enter into the spirit realm. I dealt and I understood how it comes, stage one to three, stage four to five, stage six to seven. And I cannot bring it here if God has not helped me to, de to deal with it in the spirit realm. Am I afraid? Of course, in the beginning I was afraid. But as the Holy Spirit continued to assure me, and Jesus told me it is him that is fighting, and this is what is bringing revival when such things are dead. Revival is not only singing. Revival it is not only uh, testimonies. Revival is intercession with a result. Amen. Listen. He said uh, that cancer, it is a beast, it is a killer. And then he said, there's a scripture he gave me, is there anything impossible with me? And he gave me Matthew, let's go to Matthew. Matthew, to, we will pray, but we have to do as I am instructed. Matthew, because it is war. Matthew chapter 19 and verses 26. Matthew 19 and verses 26. 
This is what my Bible says. 26, this is what he say. But Jesus beheld them and said to them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. With man, cancer is impossible. It is incurable. But with God, cancer is a plague. It is a beast. It is a killer. And it is curable before God. Amen. Before God. When you go to Genesis 18, remember the barren lady, Genesis chapter 18. Oh Lord, help me because I don't want to, to fail to do what you have instructed me. When you look at uh, Genesis 18 and verses 14, Sarah and Abraham, this is what was told. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Hmm. At the time appointed, I will return to you. Mm -hmm. According to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Is there anything too hard for God? Even in Luke chapter 1, verses 37, the reason why I'm doing this, Luke chapter 1, verses 27, so that you can know what is invested by man, what is invested by the marine kingdom, by the demonic world, mm -hmm. it is still going to be brought down. Amen. Chapter 1 and verses 37, for with God nothing shall be impossible. Amen. That is one scripture that you should know. Amen. Now, this is what he said. This is what he told me. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verses 22. He said, is there no Gilead in Kenya? Is there no Gilead? Is there no balm, the balm of healing, the oil, the balm, the medicine in Kenya? Is there no healing for cancer, for destroying the beast? Amen. And he said, I've raised prophets. I've raised apostles to deal with that case. Intercession that is apostolic, intercession that is that is prophetic. Amen. This is what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 8 and verses 22. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no balm in Gilead? In the body of Christ, have I not lifted apostles and prophets? Yes, Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Let's see what Ephesians says. Ephesians, the Bible talks to us very well that Ephesians, Ephesians in chapter 2, verses 20, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Amen. The body of Christ, 19. Now therefore you are no more strangers or foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Uh, are not built upon the and are, are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ Himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building uh, fitly framed together grows to a holy temple in the Lord. Amen. In whom you also are built together for inhabitation of God through the Spirit of God. Cancer is a killer. Cancer is a beast. Cancer is a beast. Jesus Christ, I told you there is a battle between, there is a battle that Jesus is fighting Satan in the spirit realm. Jesus is fighting Satan and Satan is the beast. Amen. And Jesus is using the apostles and the prophets to bring down the beast and cancer is a beast and I'll not con I'll not fail to continue to say that I don't to expose things that God has revealed to me in the place of my prayer amen now this is what he says this is what he say that during covid the lord instructed me to deal with it people spoke all rubbish people abused people said it is coming a second time and I said it will not come because we are praying against it. And I knew it will come, but the Lord said, fight it. Fight it. Amen. And we fought it. And cancer, let me tell you, COVID-19 cannot come again. He cannot destroy it and bring it again. When he deal with cancer, he will not bring it again. Yes. And anybody that has cancer and is listening to me, 
May the Lord God show you mercy. Amen. I was told to plead for mercy for those that are sick and God will show them mercy. Yesterday night I was taken to the room where there it's a ward. There is a lot of men, a lot of women, old, young, even children that are suffering that sickness. And I was pleading for mercy and it was not nice. Amen. It was not nice. Some were sick, lung cancer, blood cancer, skin cancer, everything. I will not mention all of it. Amen. Number three, I was told to preserve their lives by prayer. Amen. I was also told to uproot. Amen. I don't want to talk all of them. Now, we are going to pray because I don't have time. We are going to pray. And the first prayer we are going to pray, it is to send healing. Listen. I've not worshipped because I want to have time. Amen. We are going to start with the first prayer. And we are going to go to our key word. It is Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22. Is there no bum? Is there no bum? Amen. Is there no bum in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Number two scripture. It is in Matthew 19 verses 26. Luke chapter 1 verses 37. Genesis chapter 18 and verses 14. Amen. And I'll still continue giving you more. Now we are going to pray. The prayer was told to pray. My father. We come to you because of this beast called cancer. As you did in the time of the COVID. I want to be precise. The time of COVID, you killed the beast COVID. Do it in this time. Do it in this time. Amen. Do it in this time. We are going to pray that prayer. Amen. And we are going to pray even with those ones that are in the studio in Jesus' name. My father... We come to you because of this beast called cancer. As you did in the time of the COVID, you killed the beast. COVID, do it this time in Jesus' name. My editor will put it down there. I want to be precise to the point, to the exact word Jesus gave to me. Amen. My father, my father, we come to you, we come to you because of this beast, because of this beast called, cancer. called cancer. As you did in the time of the COVID, as you did in the time of COVID, you killed the beast. You killed the beast. COVID. COVID. Do it in this time. Do it in this. In the name of Jesus. Makatalaba shatara be salabadia rantala be zagate pras. Sadia, my father, we come to you as intercessors in the nation of Kenya, Maraba Zodia, as the wailing women that you called for, Repa Zutala Bade, Kandala Bezia Tai Badia, we come to you, Maraba Tere Badia, because of this beast called cancer as you died in the, as you did in the time of the covid you killed the beast cancer you killed the beast covid do it in this time deal with this epidemic deal with this plague actually you called it plague marabada marebedia zanta labadia shanda labadia randa labadua zanta labadia Shanda Labadia, Randa Labado, Zaipa Rota Labadia, Ramba Zotelebede, Randa Labezi Paradua, Sharaba Zota Labade, do it, my father, do it, my father, kill the beast, kill the beast that is called cancer, Shareba Zuda, Reba Zudia. Maraba de Rebe, Zanta Labadia, Randa Labade, Shanda Labadia, Randa Labazo, Shalabada, Randa Labadia, Manda Labadia, 
Is there no bum in Gilead? Is there no physician? Rebadiadu, Marabadia, Zandalabadu, Rantelebedia, Rai Bazuada, Shandalabadia, Renderebedia, Mareba Zotarabada. Is there no bum in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Reba Zoto Robotia. Reba Zoto Robotia. In Jesus' name we pray. Because of time, you continue praying that one. We are going to ask God for mercy. And we are going to go to Jeremiah chapter 30 and verses 17. The Bible says, For I will restore health to you. And I will heal you from the wood, says the Lord. Amen. Jeremiah 30, verse 17. Let us go even to Psalms, chapter 30 and verses 5. Amen. Chapter 30 and verses 5. Glory be to God. This is what, chapter 30, verse 3. This is what my Bible says. O oh Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave. I've seen people, please, in chariots of fire. I've seen cancer die. My pastors are here. I have seen cancer die. I have seen HIV die. I, what a, <laughs> my friend, listen. Oh Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave. You have kept me alive that I will not go down to the pit. We are asking God for mercy. Psalms chapter 71 and verses 20. Psalms chapter 71. And verses 7, 20, the Bible says, Yeah, which have showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Amen. Revelation chapter 22. We are asking God for mercy. Revelation chapter 22. Amen. Revelation chapter 22, verses 2. In the midst of the street of it and in on either side of the river, there were the, th the tree of life, which bore 12 manna of fruits. Yes, 12 manna of fruits. One tree had 12 manna of fruits. Apple, mango, oranges, guava, whatever. Amen. The Bible says pineapple, watermelon, whatever it is, there was a tree, a fruit. And the Bible says that which are 12 ahead and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. My father, my father. This is what, what I wrote. My father, my father, I plead for mercy for those ones that are sick. Why? Damaris, plead for mercy for those that are sick that I may show them mercy. Amen. My father, my father, my father, my father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus, show mercy, show mercy to the sick, to the sick, show mercy, show mercy to the sick, to the sick, in the name of Jesus, Maraba Zotarabade, mercy, 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 Shalabada, Zariata, Marekatia, Shantalabade. Marebadua, mercy, mercy, heal them cancer. Kareba zato la boda, touch their body, touch their bo blood, touch their lungs, touch their throat, touch their head. Talabazo, touch their eyes, touch their stomach. Mareba tuada, lebra zanta badia, touch their mareka talabesia, touch their marika tolabadia. Colon cancer, save cancer, breast cancer, prostrate, marabadia, zetelebedia, rentalamade, magado, pariado, zerebede, sharabadia, masi, masi, touch the little children, touch the young generation. Touch the mothers, touch the fathers, touch the old, touch the middle age. Rabba Zotalabada, touch the teenagers. Mercy, mercy. Is there no bum in Gilead? Is there no help? Is there no physician there? There is Gilead. 
There is healing. There is balm in the nation of Kenya from a small village called Embu County. Marabo Zadaba, Shalaba Zolaba, Shareba Zotaba, Mareba Zelebede, Shandala Bezarabadia, Reba Zotarabade, Masi, Masi, you have done it, instant healing. Others, you have healed them through medication and giving them grace and giving them mercy and giving them patience. Others, they have just been healed. Others have gone through trials by healing through medication. Rabba Zotalabade, mercy, 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 mercy in Jesus' name. We are going to ask the Lord. Um, we are going to ask God to preserve them. The third intercession prayer, it is through uh -huh. It is through preservation. Amen. Psalm 16 and verses 17. Psalm 16 and verses 1. The Bible says that Psalm 16 are five minutes. I don't know. 16 and verses 1. The Bible says that preserve my life, O Lord, for in you do we put refuge. We are going to tell the Lord to preserve them. Number three, prayer. We are going to tell the Lord to preserve those that are sick. Number three, we are going to uproot the, we are going to uproot the root from the beast. Amen. We are going to uproot the root from the beast. Amen. And this one, it is in Job chapter 16, 18, verses 16, that you shall, the roots shall dry from beneath and the branches shall be cut off. Job 18, Job 18, verses 16. Amen. We are going to deal with it. I don't know but we are going to pray. I'm not going to be in a hurry. Even if this will take one hour, I don't want to know. We are going to deal with it. Can we tell the Lord to preserve them? Amen. Psalm 16 verses 1. I've changed because I've been spoken to. I've been told don't be in a hurry. Amen. 16 verse 1. Preserve me, O Lord, for in you do I put my trust. We still go to Psalms chapter 71. And verses, kindly have been told not to be in a hurry. 71 and verses 3. B, uh, verses, uh, verses 20, verses 20. You, you which have showed me great and sore troubles shall quicken me again or shall revive me, shall heal me and shall bring me up again from the depths of the earth. Amen. Psalms chapter 30 and verses. Kindly allow me not to rush. Kindly. And verses 3, O oh Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave. You have brought me from the grave. I was to die, but you brought me out of the grave. Amen. You have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord, my father, preserve the cancer patients. Preserve the patients. Preserve them from this beast that kills, that is called cancer. My father, my father, Shalaba Tola Mataya, Kaya Tola Bezia, preserve the cancer patients, preserve them from the beast, preserve their lives, preserve their lives, mark them with the mark of the prayer, mark them with the mark of the blood of Jesus for preservation, Maraba Zota Labadia, preservation, Mandala Bezia Tai Badua, Preservation, Makatala Bazetia, Marabozata Labadia, Preservation, 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 Malabado, Zalabade, Shandalabada, Preparetia, Maragatia, Periata, Zalabada, Shalamadia, I deploy angels to mark them with the mark of the blood of Jesus. Preserve them, preserve them. Deliver their souls from the pit of death. Preserve their souls from the pit of the grave. Preserve their souls from the grave. Preserve their souls from the grave. Shalabada, Zantalabadia, Randalabadua, Mandalabade, Zandalabadia, Shandalabadua, Randalabado, Raibadia, 
Landa Labadia. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kindly, you will continue praying. We are going to uproot. We are going to uproot Job. Job chapter 18 and verses 16. The Bible says, he has roots, cancer root. I don't want to enter deep. I don't want to enter deep. We have manufacturers of this sickness in the spirit realm. We have the producers. We have the suppliers in the spirit realm. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk. Amen. <clears throat> His roots shall be dried up. I know which nation in the spirit realm they are using against people. Why? Because they want more strength. There is a number they want dead. Yes, they want dead. More than 9 million for them to gain strength. The beast to get strength so that he can have killed many, many to take over. <laughs> his roots shall be dried up beneath. And above shall his branch be cut off. Amen. His remembrance shall perish from the earth. Cancer, the beast of cancer, your memory, just like COVID-19 memory went down. His memory shall perish from the earth and he shall have no name in the street. Amen. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have a son or nephew among his people, nor any remaining of his dwellings. There will be no remnants. Hmm. There will be no demonic remnants to bring it up again. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day, as they that went before frightened. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth no God. Amen. We are going to uproot the root of cancer on the earth, in the marine kingdom, in the heavenlies. This, we can't do it in this minute. I've already, we have, God has helped the intercessors. In the private place of intercession, it is Jesus dealing with it. Amen, amen, amen. My father, my father, my father, my father. As intercessors, As intercessors in, this in this assignment, I uproot the, the root of cancer in the nation of Kenya the nation and worldwide in the name of Jesus. Reba Zota Labadan, Reke Telebo Zanta Labadia, Jesus uproot. Jesus, deploy angels. Let your angels uproot. Let your angels uproot. Reba Zota Labade, Randa Labezi Atai Badua, Shanda Labeza Gade Paradu, Reba Zuta Leba Shata Labade, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, Maragade, be uprooted on the earth, be uprooted, Maragade, be uprooted. In the heavens, be uprooted. Rebalabe, Zalabadia, be uprooted. Cancer, be uprooted. From the people you have entered into, from those that have been told by the labor gadua, by the doctors that they have cancer, be uprooted. Be uprooted. Cancer, be uprooted. From the bodies, be uprooted. In the spirit realm, in the natural, be uprooted, be uprooted, and die, and die, and die. I uproot you, cancer, from the lives of people. I uproot you from the lives of people. I kill you, and I bury you in the pit. Mandala Boza, Shanda Labadia, Renda Lebezia, Randa Labado, Shale Bado, Paredabo, Zende Lebede, Mande Rebede, Zandala Badia, Rende Lebedia, be uprooted from the lives of people that are watching me online, that are watching me on Oracle, that are watching me, Maragadia, in Kingdom TV, in the YouTube, in the Facebook, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, be uprooted, Maragadia, Zalamado, Shalamadia, die by fire, die and be buried, die be alado. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is what I was taught. As you did in the time of Moses 
and Israelites. Red Sea, that is where the Red Sea swallowed them. Oh God, let the Red Sea swallow this beast. Amen. We are going to tell the Lord Father, as you did in the days of Moses and the Israelites in the Red Sea, let this plague be swallowed by the Red Sea. Kindly, I did not give myself this assignment. Time will tell. Amen. I Exodus verses 28. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and not the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. They remained not so much as one of them. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall of them on their right hand and on their left hand. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of Egyptians and Israelites saw the Egyptians dead upon the sea shore. Amen. Listen. 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 As you did in the time of Moses and Israelites, O oh God, let the Red Sea swallow this beast. Exodus 14:28. We are going to pray that one. Then we are going to cleanse the medication, the tools, and we call it a day. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. As you did, my father. My father. As you did in the time of Moses. As you did in the time of Moses. And Israelites. And Oh God, oh God, let the Red Sea, the Red sea swallow the beast called cancer. Zaraba Zotarabada, Ranta la Bezia Taibadua, Randa la Bezagade, let the Red Sea swallow the beast cancer. Shalamadia, Randa la Badia, the Lebarabosi, this beast called cancer, we shall not see it again. Mareba zota na made, shanda la bezi paradua, randa la beza na madia, randa la boza na badia. I cleanse the medication, I cleanse the tools and the doctors. Mareba zota la bade, mareba zerebedia, lebra zanta la bade, shanda la bezi ata. Cancer be swallowed by the Red Sea. Cancer be swallowed by the Red Sea. Cancer be swallowed by the Red Sea. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing. We are going to cleanse the medication. We are going to cleanse the treatment. There are those who will go through the medication, of course. There are those that receive healing. In my life, I've seen them going through medication. They have been healed. And we have two or three who have been healed physically. These are my pastors, they know. They have been healed instantly. Amen. If it is sent by demons, it goes back to them, you know. But the sickness itself, God is going to heal it. Amen. We are going to cleanse the medication, the tools, and the doctors. Some doctors have bad report. They are there. They are agents. They want to kill you before time. Some of us, some of the patients don't die because of sickness. They die because of the words from the demonic, past, demonic, uh, demonic agents that are some of them doctors. Amen. Can we cleanse them through the blood of Jesus? And then we cover all the patients in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Marabo shatarabada. I sanctify the tools. I sanctify the treatments, the medication, the doctor's minds and hands. Marabo Saredia, I deploy angels where cancer patients are being treated. I deploy angels. Ramre Zadia, Lagate Prosade, Labeta Laboza Lamadia, Rembra Zanta Bashua, Repa Zota Labate de Bedim. I deploy angels. I deploy angels. I kayata labadia in operation rooms during surgeries. Marakatia, Rembra Zadia, Lebra Zada. You created a woman with the two breasts. No more termination of breast. Maraba Zodia, Shanda Labade, Randa Labadia, 
rain telemedia i deploy angels i deploy angels that are dealing with cancer that are dealing with this beast marabada sanctify the minds of the doctors magadua by the blood of jesus by the blood of jesus i cleanse spiritually the heavenlies in jesus name father this is a long prayer that we have prayed and i want to thank you because it is real you have already dealt with the beast cancer and you have told me to bring it on air at first there we are so much fear in me and you say don't mind what people will say the results will speak amen i want to declare and decree to any patient that is watching me on television or a television or phones or YouTube's whatever whatever you are using your phone your televisions and laptop iPads whatever you are using and you are watching me in the name that is above every other name I cleanse your body I cleanse your body from the beast of cancer I cleanse your body in the name of Jesus let cancer die I deploy angels I deploy angels I speak healing I speak healing I pray preservation that you are going to go through it and overcome if you are going through uh through uh, through treatment I pray for instant healing I pray that the medication and surgeon uh, and 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 treatment and the tools and uh, the minds of the doctors their hands I deploy the angels to enter into them the blood of jesus to cleanse father thank you i sanctify the atmosphere in the spirit realm i sanctify in the heavenlies i sanctify on the earth many of them may fight but let results show in jesus name we pray i decree that you are healed and delivered and the masses of god will come over your life and angels are together with you may god show you mercy may he stamp that healing and please when you are healed let me know if you have a uh, cancer kindly call me and i'll pray for you and release the mark of healing and when you overcome let me know in jesus name if you comment comment grace don't comment insult and even if you comment insult i have no problem results will prove amen in jesus name always remember that where there is a prophet there is a testimony and by the hand of apostle damaris signs and wonders and miracles are your portion don't forget to support me that i may reach to those that are in the village amen and this is my pay bill number 400222 my account number is 1739983 hash and send me the transaction this is 0746553997 kindly I'm not asking you for money because I am dealing with cancer. God is a faithful God. Amen. God bless you.